So in this tutorial, we're gonna check out links.ai, which is a current lifetime deal on AppSumo. And with it, we can easily do things like this. Hover over Wikipedia link on our website, and it shows a preview of the Wikipedia page. Previews like this are fairly common on major websites, and they reportedly reduce bounce rates, increase session times, and reduce exit rates on your websites which are great for SEO. So if it can do those things, I don't know for sure yet, I'm still testing out, but if it can do those things, that's great for SEO. There's over a thousand different major websites programmed into links.ai to show previews for. Here is one for YouTube right here. And if you click on it, in this case, it shows the video in a light box right on the website. You can click on the title or on the link up here to view on YouTube. And this works for SoundCloud, TikTok, Wikipedia, and over a thousand different major websites. For the Wikipedia one, it works a little differently. If I hover over here, it shows the preview. If I click on it, it takes me to the actual Wikipedia page. It's mobile friendly, it's super easy to install, and it also helps with load times, which is also good for SEO. If you're embedding videos, for example, or SoundCloud audio, that will impair your load time. It'll slow your website's load time unless you have special plugins to lazy load those things. All the links.ai pop-ups and previews are lazy loaded, meaning they only load when you hover over the link. And currently, as an AppSumo deal, it's 59 bucks for 20,000 unique previews a month, up to tier four for 1 million unique previews. And if it's true that you can increase session time, reduce bounce rate, and reduce exit rate, at any appreciable amount. They say up to 30% improvement in all those metrics on the links.ai website. If that's true, and you have a million unique previews in a month, that adds up to a lot of increased session time, which is going to be great for your SEO. Like I said, I don't know for sure if it does those things. I just installed it, I'm testing it out, but I wanna make a video for you guys so you see how it works and what the idea behind it is, and hopefully it does those things, because that would be awesome for all of us. So let's get into installing links.ai. Then I'll show you how to set it up and then hopefully you'll try it as well and you'll see some great results. When you first create your links.ai account, you have to add a website. We're gonna add this to the RVing with family domain name that we've seen on this channel a few times. So we're gonna enter the URL right here, then click on add. As you can see, we're on AppSumo tier one, 20,000 previews per month, unlimited domains, no links.ai branding. Now what this means, the 20,000 previews a month, this means that this will allow on all your websites, so across unlimited websites, you have 20,000 views a month, that will show the previews of links you hover on. So if you hover on a Wikipedia link, it's gonna show the Wikipedia preview, which we'll see more of in just a minute, but we can have 20,000 a month on AppSumo tier one. So keep that in mind. We have to add this script now to our website. Click on copy. Now it's in your clipboard. They have guides for adding it to various places. The ways I would do it are either WordPress, which I assume is some kind of plugin, or directly in the theme files, or Google Tag Manager, which is the easiest. I'm gonna show you Google Tag Manager and also show you where you do it, adding it directly to a theme file. And this needs to go into the body tag of every page you want the link preview to appear. Okay, so in Google Tag Manager, I have a video showing you how to set up Google Tag Manager if you wanna see that. It's linked to in the description down below. In this case, we're not setting up the container for the website, we're just adding a tag. So we're gonna make sure I'm in my RVing with Family workspace, go to Tags, click on New, I'm gonna give this a name, links.ai script, gonna configure a tag, and it is going to be custom HTML. As you saw, there's lots of tags. Google Tag Manager is a bit of a beast. So this is what the tag is going to be. The tag is just basically whatever you're adding to the website. Then the triggering is when this tag is going to be applied on your website. So let's go to triggering, and we can want this to be all pages. You can also add exceptions if you want to in here. You can add, I mean, there's just so much you can do. Um, you could specifically figure out exactly or, or have the, the trigger done exactly in a way that only shows up on posts if you wanted to because the link hover preview would be best used on posts. I'm just going to use all pages. Just keep it simple. That's built right into Google Tag Manager. You don't have to create your own stuff for that. We save the tag and now we have to submit the tag. So there's version control inside Google Tag Manager. So I'm going to call this... 
adding links.ai script. It's going to copy and paste that into the description. And then I'm going to publish. Now we've created our version, which has added the tag to the website. We go back to the links.ai dashboard and click on activate links.ai. Now it's active on this website and has information about our script. We can change the theme preview. We'll get to all that in just a second. Let's actually see this working on the website now that it's been activated in our account. So let's find a post where we have an external link that we can preview. So I found a post with an external link. And let's see where it is. Algae, right here. This word algae links to Wikipedia. When I hover over it, it shows a preview for Wikipedia. If I click on it, it's going to take us to the Wikipedia page. I have that link set to target a new tab, as in it doesn't take us away from our website, it just opens Wikipedia in a new tab. And that's basically what links.ai does. This provides link previews like this. You can set it so it has different modes. You can also have it so you have to click on the link to preview it. I don't see that option here though. I have to investigate a little. So instead of hovering, there's an option to be able to click on the link to see the preview. Let's see, dark mode. Do I have to save this anywhere? Theme has been updated. It said in the bottom left, or if I refresh this page, I don't even need a refresh. We now have dark mode. Dynamic light and dark mode requires website plan or higher. That not included my current plan here. So if I don't refresh the page, does it update the mode? It doesn't. So you got to refresh the page, whatever you're on, and then it'll update the link preview mode. You can also limit the previews to HTML containers. For example, if you had a link in your main menu that linked externally that would preview as well as long as it's one of the one of the major websites that are link previewed and there's a lot of them i think there's over a thousand currently there are sites like tiktok and youtube and wikipedia that are set by links.ai let's just look at their site to see if we can find a little list of sites they link out to can't find it directly on here but it's um over a thousand urls that are major, major websites that you're often linking to or want to have embedded on your site. So instead of embedding a YouTube video, you can just have a link preview, which looks a lot like the one we just saw here for LG. But the link preview for YouTube videos and SoundCloud, they're different. This one just pulls in an image from Wikipedia. If we add a YouTube video, it's actually going to have a playable video right in the preview. And I'll add a YouTube video in just a second to see how that works. But first, let's finish our discussion of HTML containers. So if you don't want link previews happening in certain places, you can limit them to just the main content of your site. So if you want it only in the main content, like this list right here, instead of view paid source, let's go to inspect. And let's find our content. Let's inspect this instead. So it could be this one, Elementor widget wrap. This is an Elementor site, as you can tell. So that's not it. If you want the only the content, it's this one right here. We gotta find the tag that is unique. For example, Elementor-Element, that's applied to all these different sections. That's not what we want. We want one that's unique to just the article body, which is article body right here. So if we copy this and we put that into here, add a period, paste in article body, make sure there's no space there. Now article body is going to have the previews and nowhere else on the site. So if you have a sidebar with links over here on the right-hand side, for example, there'd be no previews there. There'd be no previews in the footer or the header or the main menu. So you can define specifically where you want those previews enabled by using classes. We also have mobile link previews. Those are enabled by default. Let's see if we can see how those work. Switch to mobile. And for this one, you have to click on it or tap on it to see the preview. When I hover, there is no hovering in mobile. So you tap on it, and that should have shown us a preview. Since this isn't true mobile, it's actually in a browser on mobile size. That's probably why it didn't work. But here it shows the preview popping up. If they tap the link again, then it would open the web page, and they can tap anywhere outside of this preview to close it. So that's mobile mode. 
We can also skip preview for specific URLs. In this example, we're skipping preview for rvingwithfamily.com, even though that likely wouldn't pull a preview anyway. But if it would, it would be, for example, if we were to hover over, let's say, an internal link like this one right here. Please check out this guide, which is a link on this website. It would show a preview of links on this website, which probably isn't what you want. And that's it for the main core value that this provides. Let's add a YouTube video to this post or a link to a YouTube video. I'm just gonna add it right here. This is gonna be a link to Google Tag Manager video that I referred to earlier. Then you can click in the description down below so you can find out how to create Google Tag Manager accounts for yourself and the containers to use the tags like we're using for this post here or to include uh, links.ai on our website. So now if I go down to that link we just created, different purposes, pulls in our YouTube video. If I click on it, it now opens the video in full screen. It has not left the site. We're still watching this video on our website. So you can embed YouTube videos and SoundCloud audio. And if you have certain plugins, you can lazy load them, which is beneficial for, for site speed. But if you have the links.ai plugin, you can have this beautiful pop-up, which also is responsive, I believe, and it can play the video and lazy load the video content for you right on here. Let's just check if that's mobile responsive. I'm pretty sure it is. And not really, but that might be YouTube's fault. But if I play it, there we go. The thumbnail is not mobile, but the video itself will be shrunk down to mobile size. You can click on the link here, or your visitors can to view on YouTube. And that will be the same thing if you used SoundCloud or TikTok or Whoever, Twitch probably, there's there's a thousand plus URLs, which might be listed somewhere, and URLs being domains. So a thousand plus major websites that can be previewed using links.ai. And I'm sure there's a list somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Anyway, that's how it works. That's the ins and outs. And I also said I was going to show you how to add this directly to your website if you weren't using Google Tag Manager. And to do that, you have to open up your hosting account and go to the file manager for your site, or you have to log in via FTP to get to some of your theme files, or you can use a plugin. I prefer not to use a plugin because that slows your site down. But the more plugins you have, the worse off WordPress is generally. So I'm gonna log into my hosting account. I'm gonna show you how to add the links.ai code to the header file, which will enable us to add it to every page on our site. So here we are in SiteGround, where I'm hosting RV with family currently. Go to public underscore HTML, wp-content, themes, Astra is my currently active theme. If you don't know which theme you have active, just go into your dashboard, go to appearance, then themes, and on the left-hand side here, it shows the currently active theme. You want to find the folder for that theme, and then find the header.php file. And if you really want to get hardcore, I recommend you create a child theme first. Creating a child theme is pretty straightforward. I've got a tutorial for that in the card up above and the description down below. With a child theme, you create a separate folder inside your themes folder. In the case of Astra, it'd be called Astra-child. And then you, you would have uh, in there a functions file in the CSS file. And you also would create or duplicate the header.php file into the child theme folder. And that tutorial I'm linking to walks you through all that. I'm just gonna do the quick and dirty way pretend this is inside of the child theme. You copy over your header.php file, and inside of here, we would add the links.ai code. So we go back to our links.ai dashboard. We have our script right over here. Copy that to our clipboard, and then scroll down to the body tag. I wanna add it after the Google Tag Manager code. Paste that right in there. Save it, and now you have the links.ai code added to your site. And doing it this way, you do not need Google Tag Manager because we added the code directly to our page. Google Tag Manager is just a, a middle person which allows you to add scripts in the Google Tag Manager account right over here and allows you to add them to websites just like copying pasting does right here, but you're not editing theme files. Once you have the Google Tag Manager code added, which is this, this script right here after the body tag and then this one right here, once you have those in there, Google Tag Manager will automatically insert whatever scripts you have with various triggers that you set inside your Tag Manager account. So it makes adding code very easy, hassle-free, and much safer. 
And also, if you have a development team, you can avoid having them do it because you can have your marketing team, for example, in your Google Tag Manager account adding scripts like links.ai instead of having a new project for your development team. So links.ai, as I'm sure you're aware from earlier in the video, is currently on AppSumo. And this is it right here. It's newly on here. There's only five reviews so far, but they're five out of five tacos. I just have the tier one because I wanted to try it out and show you guys how it works. But if it ends up working well and my visitors like it, I'm probably going to upgrade to at least a tier three, maybe a tier four. Who knows? Depends how well it works. Uh, but what they, what they say, I don't know if this is true yet. What they say is one of the reasons they saw right here. Uh, websites with links.ai see 30% increase in users session length, drop in bounce visitors and lower exit rates, which is pretty solid. Like if you have up to a million views per month that you can have previews for, and of those million views, 30% of them increase their session length, that's a big win for your websites. Also helps with SEO rankings because it lazy loads all those all those um, links. It also doesn't block Google from going to them. So Google, when it crawls your site, it looks at all the links on your page, both internal and external, to see what you're linking to. This preview from links.ai does not block Google from visiting Wikipedia in the case of this example here. It doesn't block Google from going to Wikipedia and seeing what we're linking to. It just has this little overlay, which makes it more beneficial hopefully, to our visitors. And so if you end up buying through the link in the description down below on AppSumo, I may or may not get a commission. If you've bought from AppSumo before, then the commission's either zero or it's like really, really small. And if you've never bought an AppSumo before, it's a bit higher. But either way, if you buy through that link, I really appreciate it. It does not make it more expensive for you. It just has AppSumo sharing a bit of the commission with me, which is fantastic. And if the AppSumo deal is over when you're watching this video, there's also a different link that takes you directly to links.ai where you can buy through there if you really want it. And that's also an affiliate link. So if you end up purchasing through there, it's again, not more expensive for you, but it helps me keep making these videos for free on YouTube because they send me a small cut of whatever it is you pay for links.ai. But I highly recommend you hop on the AppSumo deal. You can refund it within 60 days if it's no good. So try it out, see how it works, and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Next up, check out this playlist right over here, which is all about AppSumo deals. Some of these deals might not be on AppSumo anymore, but the software still exists. So if you want to find new software to help you run your business better, check out this playlist right here. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time. Keep crushing it and I'll see you in the next video.